All right, uh, as you can see, I'm in the middle of a build here. Um, I decided I would do a uh, quick, really quick uh, unboxing of the uh, latest generation uh, chip from Intel. Yes, the uh, sixth generation. This is actually a, um, let's see if we can get this up there. I focus in, turn this around. Bear with the camera, please, because it's above and at an angle as well. That is a chip, as you can see on there. I'll read it off before, but yeah, I can read it off of the camera. This is a, a i5, obviously, a, a 6600K, which is an unlocked 6000 series, uh, it's, uh, latest generation as of September. 2015. This chip uh, only came out in Q3 uh, of this year. So, it, it, I don't know, this chip may be literally manufactured date. Is that even on there? Uh, I'll, I'll look at it in a minute, but you've seen that long enough. Um, I'm going to look at it myself, to be honest here. Uh, <clears throat> seeing for any uh, signs of manufactured date. But the, yeah, uh, well, I don't see any manufacture date on it specifically. Sometimes there is, sometimes there are not. I know you can look up the uh, batch and, and whatnot and find out. But uh, <clears throat> I haven't looked this up specifically, but these chips uh, came out this year and uh, I believe in August because uh, they were just at E3 and uh, GameCon perhaps. But anyways, uh, uh, this is an unlocked i5 uh, 6600K from Intel. About to pop it in the slot here. Um, and I thought I would just open up the box. I know you guys, some of you guys like to see unboxings. So uh, for those who do, let's open it up. As you see the front of the box. So, something to note on these chips right now. Uh, they don't come with a cooler. No heat seat, no fan. Good news uh, is <clears throat> is pretty much any uh, LGA 1150, 1155, and so on, um, and 1156 uh, uh, will, uh, cooler stock cooler will fit it, or or aftermarket cooler. Uh, it's the same layout on the boards. Uh, uh, this is uh, an LGA, uh, as it says right here. Let's see here. It says right there, it's an LGA 1151. That's the new standard for the 6000, the 6 series, the latest generation, the 6th generation of Intel CPUs. Uh, and it has the tape here, which you can cut, and then uh, right here, uh, a factory seal. That's where I'm going to go with the factory seal. That's cut. And so, bring it down here so I stay in frame a little better, a little easier. Open that up. So, so, so this is what you're going to get for your, on this i5, this is somewhere in the range, the 230-ish range, 240, maybe 250, depending on where you buy it. Maybe uh, maybe even closer, close to $300 uh, due to the rarity of these chips because of the supply and demand. Uh, I7s uh, right now, uh, as of this recording, uh, are next to impossible to, to find uh, that aren't on back order. But uh, as you see, it's just cl the cardboard, the uh, i5 uh, processor manual. Uh, don't really need a processor manual, but that's just going to tell you all the specs and everything else. So uh, box here, I'll show you this. Uh, you'll know all the info on my chip, but not really worried about it. It's physically inside a machine, so not much you can do with it. Uh, this way, be proper. I have the, the camera. It's going to be flipped in the editor, so... Uh, there it is. There's the information. i5 6600K, 3.5 gigahertz. Uh, turbo on this, uh, so it, it goes through nine. So basically, it's uh, 3.9 gigahertz stock. Uh, six megabytes of cache. Uh, obviously, form factor LGA 1151. Uh, and then you see, you know, product. Uh, you know, all all the other good stuff, serial numbers and stuff. Uh, <clears throat> I see the box. Uh, all right, we actually have a little bit that it talks about on the box. It's very plain. Uh, what does it say here? Four core, four way multitask processing into Intel Turbo Boost Technology 2.0. Intel uh, Turbo Smart Technology supports two channel DDR4 
And uh, DDR3L memory, obviously the uh, pins have changed with uh, DDR4, 288 pin um, now, which is more pins than DDR3. So DDR3L, uh, just for your information, is just 288 pin DDR3 basically. And that's about all for the box. So uh, I'll set this box just right here. You can continue seeing it. <laughs> uh, we'll focus on the chip. Again, comes in this uh, chips are going to come in this little plastic sleeve, uh, pretty thick plastic. And I'm sure, there's a special way to pop it out right, but uh, you just get it out any way you can. And then you have this this uh, cardboard you, you're basically going to discard, and you're left with this. I mean, this is the this is the money. This um, little plastic casing that holds the chip. And from this point, uh, I'll show you the back of the chip if anybody's curious of the way they've done the dies and the layout of the pins and the cache layout. If it'll focus in, maybe I'll pull it back a little bit. Not so easy to get it to focus. Come on, camera. Anyways, you get the idea there. The layout of the chip. Flipping it. There it is. This is what it's going to be flipped, so you switch, you'll see, and the light's blinding it some. So that is it. Uh, what comes next? Popping this out, and it's actually going to go into the socket right here. So that is the i5 uh, 6600K from Intel.